Welcome to another edition of World of Sport. And I'm your host, Gene Bush. And joining me as always, the man, as you know, is the biggest dick in television, Dickie Winners, Dick Wah. Welcome. Thanks very much, Gene. Well, I'm just excited to be bringing our viewers some incredible highlights of today's rugby league action. And couldn't say a bit of myself there, Dickie. Of course, we are talking about the second edition of the Legends of League tournament in the seaside city of Gosford. It really is the jewel in the crown of the New South Wales coast. And also, let's not forget the home of old Sydney town, where good men get dressed up as convicts and get flogged hard and often. Huge crowds filing in, as you can see. What do you reckon, Dickie? A little bit like a Roosters home game out there. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what I was thinking, obscene Gene. You can already feel the tension in the air. The players would be starting to feel the nerves. I can almost smell the sweat and the Goanna rub. Well, I tell you what, it's nothing like that. Uh, the old uh, tingling in the short and curlies, hey? The old <laughs> Rubik's Cubes, if you know what I mean, oh, takes us back. Yeah, I don't mind a little bit of Danka rub on your town halls in the morning, yeah? Now, yeah, there's plenty of big names to look out for at today's tournament. Of course, Rugby League's oldest man in Cliffy Lines and Rugby League's prettiest man, Danny Budaris. Now, let's have a look at the, uh, the game's biggest man for one second. Let's get a shot of him there. And, of course, we're talking about big Willie Mason. And I'll tell you what, the biggest thing about Willie is those new Barry Beef. Those teeth, what about them? Yes, I haven't seen uh, something that wide since you and Marsha Hines were at Studio 54. Holy oh, hell, oh. what about that night? But let's get a bit serious here for a moment. Um, there's three players that I will be watching with huge amount of interest. Uh, number one, of course, Gordon Tallis. Oh, the ageing bull. Absolutely. Uh, the cat of Manly, Steve Beaver Menzies. Uh, and our favourite player, of course, the Parramatta Prince, the King of the West, the Far of the Flop, Nathan Hindmarsh. Oh, but anyway, let's go down to uh, the sidelines with uh, Booger Johnson. And Booger, what's the feeling? <laughs> down there the Thanks, Gene. I'm down here in the room. Thank you, Booger. Can... Now, a word from our sponsors. Will someone fill this f***ing drink up? OK, well, here they come for game one. And uh, first off, the lacklustre Manly Seagulls, led by the biggest cat of them all, Steve Beaver Menzies. No doubt cashing in on Cliffy Lines again today. Absolutely, Gene. What a f***ing parasite this man is. <laughs> well, let's hope they get towed up by, by the Barbarians. Uh, as we all know, they're a made-up team, very similar to the Melbourne Storm. <laughs> <laughs> You're on fire today, Dickie. Tongue <laughs> five. Well, I'll tell you what, Gene, there are plenty of big hits going out in the middle of the field here. And plenty of big tips in the stands. Row five, suit three. Uh, <laughs> oh, Menzies! Menzies, he's through. Oh, he's gone down the heap. I tell you what, he's still got that great footwork. How that man won two premierships is beyond me. Plonk! And some surprising inclusion of the men from Manly Warringah today. We're talking about the game's most respected proctologist, John Hoppawati. He's down there with his Michael Jackson S white glove. Hate to think where those fingers might end up today, hey, Dickie? Well, it'll be a thriller for someone, dare I say, uh, someone will beat it. <laughs> <laughs> he certainly plays like a smooth criminal. <laughs> He's a criminal, all right. <laughs> and it's also good to see Michael Monaghan making a return for the Manly Warringah Seagulls. Although his brother Joel isn't here today, apparently he was banned. Do we know why, Dickie? Uh, Gene, my sources tell me that the ground is actually within two kilometres of an off-leash dog park. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds a little rough to me. <laughs> Good one, Gene. Tone five. Absolutely. <laughs> well, there we have it. Manly have gone down to the Barbarians 64 points to four in what was a pretty f***ing awful game of football. Let's go down to the Boogman on the sideline. And Booger, how are the Manly boys feeling? Thanks, Gene. I'm still down here in the sheds, and I'll tell you the feeling and within the Thank you, Booger. Gene, I tell you what, I'm looking forward to this next matchup. It's the Parramatta Eels versus the Brisbane Broncos. And feast your little Nazi spies down there, the Raging Bull. More like the Aging Bull. And there are reports that Natty, Nat Highmarsh, has actually turned up. Yeah, uh, well, he really is in some shocking condition. I tell you, it's like he's swallowed himself three times and had a spear. The extra kilos on that piece of lard out there must be really playing havoc on his knees. And his sex life, poor Bonnie. And here he is, the people's champion, Highmarsh's first touch. Oh, and we did know he's dropped it, oh, like 50 in a pokey. Oh, <laughs> uh, just looked out of his hands there, reminiscent of 2001. What a big, fat loser Nathan Highmarsh has become. Now, here he comes, Talus. Oh, another strong run and looking powerful. If only Highmarsh could do that. Let's have a look at the replay. Wow, look at that. Go, Gordy. Looks like he's pulled something, maybe a fat roll. Bunker. <laughs> 
Let's get back to the action because Highmarsh is back at it and he's broken through the line. Here he goes. Go Tubbsy, go Tubbsy. He's going to score. He's going to score, Gene. Well, he's carved them up, Highmarsh, like a fourth knuckle under the post. <laughs> I'll tell you what, maybe I can spell a championship today for the man. Oh, I can smell something, Gene. Apologies. I've said that. And we're back and it's been an action packed first day of football, but uh, let's check the table and, uh, well, no surprises with the Bulldogs on top, followed by the Barbarians. The Eels continue to surprise while the Manly Seagulls, well, led by Beaver Menzies, f***ing pathetic and absolute disgrace, sitting at the bottom of the pile. Well, Dickie, a lot of fun, but let's talk about highlights. What was your highlight so far today? Uh, Gene, hard to narrow it down, but I have gone for uh, when Nathan Hindmarsh tried to get his hands on Willie Mason and <laughs> to no avail. In his defence, I've got to say, Dickie, he's never had to put his hands on a big Willie before. <laughs> That's a dick joke, Dickie. <laughs> I know, Gene, well played. The question on everyone's lips at the moment is, can Hindy, the working-class hero, finally get a victory in a rugby league fight? Well, I think the only thing going on Hindmarsh's lips will be Brian Smith's... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the Paramount Eels team on the Barbarians. I'm pumped, Gene. Gene, I think you've got to ease up. Hey, ease up. What an extraordinary <laughs> game of rugby league we have here, viewers. The Barbarians and the Eels all tied up. We are going to Golden Point. This game has it all. <laughs> Cut up ball to Bowen. Matty Bowen off the left foot. Oh! Straight through the middle. No one's going to catch him. Under the post. Barbarians win the game. Hey, and have a look at that. There he is, Nathan Highmarsh, once again with the team celebrating <laughs> at his expense. <laughs> Who, what? Who f cares? I'm Jim Bush. And I'm Diggy Winters. Thank you very much. Enjoy your night. Wow, that went really well. Good job. Really well. Yeah.